Education Clerk at the Trail Mystery Co. Library. Um, I am going to be reading Olaf's Night Before Christmas. This is written by Jessica Julius and illustrated by Olga T. Mosbrea. Mosbrea? And it is published by Disney, of course. All right, so here we go. Olaf's Night Before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Stockings were hung by the chimney, but why? Had they gotten too wet? Were they left there to dry? Elsa was sleeping, all snug in her bed, while glittering northern lights danced overhead. Anna snored softly while I counted sheep, settling myself for a cozy night's sleep. When out of fjord there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I tumbled and rolled, I pushed out the shutters and brrr was it cold. A full moon was out and it lit up the night, while snow flurries made the world sparkly and white. Then grabbing an icicle, what did I spy? Eight little spens riding high in the sky. The spens pulled a sleigh, there were seven inside. Could Sven and Kristoff be out for a ride? Straight toward the castle, the flying sled came, while the man, was it Kristoff? Called out some strange names. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the turret and over the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. He sounded so funny. Who was this big guy? What was a turret and how could Sven's fly? And then, with a ringing, I heard on the roof the thumping and bumping of each little hoof. Then, from behind me, there came a strange sound, and the whole chimney shook as two feet hit the ground. His boots were all black, and his pants were all red. But where was the rest of him? Where was his head? Then, out of the fireplace, the man's face appeared. He had kind, crinkly eyes and a fluffy white beard. Kristoff, he wasn't. This man smelled too nice like snowballs and cookies and Christmassy spice. He placed a large bag filled with gifts on the floor. Was a sale going on at Old Olkin's big store? He pushed off his clothes, or brushed off his clothes and began to unpack, pausing for crumb cake left out as a snack. This stranger had presents for Anna and Sven, for Kristoff, for Elsa, for all of my friends. I reached for his coat and gave two little tugs and I said, my name is Olaf, and I like warm hugs. He turned with a start, then let out such a giggle. I had to laugh too when I saw how he jiggled. He gave me a hug, such a wonderful gift. Then he rose up the chimney, all lively and swift. And I heard him call out as he flew out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. 